we have to solve these problems. We can't just be doing this to make more money. That's, that's a pointless, that's useless. I come with this knowledge, but it's what the people that come to this university, what they do with it and how they apply it to solve these problems that is really, really the whole point of it all. If you are placing it within the exponential leadership framework, then all of a sudden it, uh, it brings a new, um, new perspective, I would say. And uh, here you run into almost everything but what I do in, a, in, a, in an everyday life. We had this revolution, this computer revolution, where we uh, wrote uh, software. Now we will go to a same revolution, but instead of digital software, we will rewrite our own biological software. Why people are so excited about these deep learning algorithms is that they, of course, bring the most promise. These top scientists are thinking about the world, not only about their technology itself and how it could develop around, or they are really thinking with their heart too. Essentially what we're seeing in the world today is this new environment in which software is eating the world. Today we live in something we call the Silicon Age. And we call it the Silicon Age because the smart computers, which are becoming smaller and smaller, are really, really important. That's the basis why we have AI, that's the basis why we have data analytics, the basis why we are getting more sense of our complex world around us. The speakers itself were of such a quality, but they gave me such a different insight into a perspective into the matter itself, so they took away quite some exponential learning to really deeply understand what the topic is about. My brain is really overloaded with, with lots, of, lots of inspiration. And so if I asked you this question, what would you make if you uh, could engineer your nature? I hope you also think about how can we make sure that it's used for good? And that's what these types of meetings, these types of conversations are, are meant to do, is to, to help people to find really big problems and to intensify their energy and their attack on those problems. That's the only way things are going to change. If there's one thing that we've learned during the course of this program, that indeed the only constant is change, the pace of change is exponential. So the way for you guys to lead in exponential times is to actually embrace the change, to become the change you wish to see in the world. And this is the wisdom of all of the world. If it is to be, it is up to me. Thank you.